Okay, today we're gonna go ice skating, but first we need to sharpen our ice skates because last year we noticed we were slipping around a little bit. They're probably dull, but we don't know much about it. So we are at Gun Sport Shop in Brewer and we're gonna ask them about our skates and see if they can sharpen them for us. We started in Orono in January of 77. So it's been 43 years. Best answer is you will, as you become better, you'll, you'll understand. You'll become like Bambi. Like he was saying, he noticed that he was sliding around in an inordinate amount of time. And so when you get a pair of skates sharpened and oh, they bite good, that's nice, then they start to get you know, dull. Yeah. Um, if you have a lot of road dust on it or you walk across the gravel, things like that, there's a lot of things. If you're cutting through the weeds on the edge of the lake, you know, um, it dulls them up faster. All right, our ice skates are sharpened. Turns out when you buy skates, they're usually not sharpened. So we've been skating on ice skates that are not sharp. All right, so now we're ready to go ice skating. It's a little windy out. I was not expecting that, uh, but we're sitting in an area that's kind of sheltered right now. We are at Perch Pond, also known as Mud Pond um, in Old Town. It's right by the larger body of water called Pushaw Lake. And there's a park here where you can park and there's ice fishermen here today, just a couple. It's cold, um, high of 26 I think is the report. I chose this pond because uh, it's got a maximum depth of 12 to 15 feet depending on the source you use. And um, we did have a melt a few days ago so I wanted to pick a body of water that was going to um, freeze quickly. So usually the more shallow the body of water, the more quickly it freezes and um, I was just trying to be safe. We also have um, some safety gear, ice picks, uh, just in case we fall through. I don't plan on it. Yeah. Also, it's good to go skating with a buddy. That's another safety thing you can do. It's gonna take a little while for me to get back into the professional skater that I am. Fancy pants. <laughs> I mean, it's smoother than I thought it would be. Like a beaver hut or a muskrat hut. So according to Lake Stewards of Maine, this pond is 366 acres. So it's a nice size, uh, but not like huge. I think we can explore, you know, a lot of it today. We're just gonna continue along the edge because it is windy and the shore does give a little bit of protection. Um, and, you know, if it starts blowing too much, we're gonna wanna head back. Um, so we're gonna go to the end of the pond and then we're gonna kinda like sail back with the wind. Are you pushing at all? <laughs> Just going. <laughs> all right, the wind is doing a good job pushing us back. Thanks for joining us, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. You're trying to get me falling. Ah! Oh! No! Ah! You all right? I'm okay. Oh. oh. My hat flew off. It's not good. At least you didn't hit your head. I lost my wig. Huh? At least you didn't hit your head. Well, I try not to. I'm glad you 
just got it on camera and didn't do anything to help me. <laughs> <laughs>